Hello YouTube, and well, welcome to episode 7 of XCOM Enemy Within. As you recall, we got shot up a little bit on our last mission. We have this alien abduction mission upcoming. Um, we have a choice between getting money in Japan, getting scientists in Russia, and getting engineers in South Africa. So as I'm looking at the Situation Room, uh, most of our panic is in South America and North America, so that's not really a concern. We do have some trouble in Asia, so that that's one reason we might consider going to Asia for that cash. The other reason is it would be really nice to get the cash I need to start that satellite uplink that I need that I'm going to build right here. The very moment that this power generator is done. So, while I normally don't do missions for cash, as that's not really the longest term payoff, I think in this case I'm going to do it because I really, really need to get the jump on building some satellite uplinks. And Asia's at the moment suffering the most panic. So, we're going to do this mission in Japan. Alright, here's our brand new assault that we got in the last mission. Alright, so you've earned your way out of the red shirt, so we're going to give you a frag grenade instead of the med kit. Uh, I really don't feel like I need two snipers, especially since neither of them can move and shoot, so I think I'm going to try a new rookie out. We'll bring uh, rookie Johnson here along. And we'll leave him with the grenade. In fact, I'll give my support character here the, the squad's med kit. Alright, so unfortunately my mech and both my lieutenant grade soldiers are in the infirmary. So the best I can muster right now is my Corporal Andrews here as a heavy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, I almost forgot to give this guy his red shirt. Gotta be able to tell who the rookie is. There we go. Well, alright. We got a mission to do. No sense complaining about the lack of soldiers we'd like to have. So let's just take care of this thing. Alright, so commencing Operation Stone Thorn. Current updates from the ground in Neutralize the alien, secure the meld canisters, and let's hope everyone can survive. Engage. Uh, now with all the injuries, let's see how well the B team can do in this mission. Okay, can we see any meld canisters right off the bat? Nope. Well, it's worth checking. Uh, let's take advantage of what full cover we have here. We don't have a whole lot to work with. Let's send the rookie up a little bit. No contacts. And use all the full cover we can. And these guys who are going to be in partial cover, I think, will probably end up hunkering down. And these guys in full cover can okay, go ahead and go on Overwatch. And hopefully, nobody will explode this car on us, because that would be pretty unfortunate. And I think we'll have a third guy on Overwatch here. Hmm. Alright, the aliens didn't come after us, so we're going to have to try to root them out. Fortunately, we can't make it all the way to there without dashing. So let's move this group up. Oh, we found some meld. we got five turns to get to it, and that's the first one, which means the other one's probably got the, uh, the ten turn timer. Feel great about that. Let's 
This might be a waste of his running gun, but let's use a running gun, get him up into cover, and then he can at least, if he finds somebody he can shoot, if he doesn't find anybody he can overwatch. Oh, uh, well, okay. At least now I know we're, we're clear in this uh, center area, so I can feel good about moving these other soldiers into position. position confirmed. I'm on the move. Alright, you can hunker down there because you can't go overwatch with your sniper rifle. And we'll get the heavy back and cover here. And we'll just uh, move him up. And overwatch in case something shows up on the flank. Uh, his accuracy is not great. I don't expect him to do a lot. But it feels like there should be somebody in overwatch. Man, where are these guys? Oh, we got the other melt canister. Oh, right there. Okay. That's good to know. So let's work the rookie down behind this truck. Moving to position. We've got four turns to get there, so I think we'll take a turn here, turn to there, and then a third turn we'll have a turn to spare in, in capturing that canister. Alright, let's send the assault up on top of this truck to get a lay of the land. If he spots something, he can just drop back down. Ow, still no enemies. Where the hell are all these guys? That makes me a little nervous. There's nobody directly in front of me. So maybe I'll just use this uh, this truck to screen my flank at the moment. Okay. Maybe just overwatch in case somebody shows up. I think we'll get the sniper up on top of this too so she can get a <coughs> height advantage to support the rest of the squad in the event that we take contact here. Alright, come on aliens, bring it on. Bring it on! Oh, okay, now we're finally hearing something. Oh, Thin Men. Ah. Ooh, come on buddy, get him. Oh, Alright, I actually hit him. That's a good start. Okay, let's get the squad. Yeah, I can't go get to the corner. Well, okay, we'll come back to him. Alright, let's get our assault down to the meld canister. Grab it. Ah, we got seekers now. Okay. So we're gonna have to stay close together and, and stay on Overwatch as much, much as possible. I really do want to get these Thin Men out of the fight. Because these guys with their poison can be quite irritating. So we're going to move her to this corner. As you can see the other one. Oh, we got five turns only to get to that one. Alright, let's not uh, play around with this guy. Let's just get him out of there. Uh, that might have been a bit of a waste, but I got a number of grenades. Uh, I just don't want to take chances with these guys. I'm already sort of down to my second team here with all those guys getting injured in the previous mission. Uh, I really just want to keep these guys alive. Uh, and there's no sense taking any chances if we can avoid it. No shot, huh? Ooh, well, he's got really nowhere to go. Well, let's overwatch. He may be able to shoot between the van there or something. No, no line of sight for him anymore, so that's easy. We'll just overwatch him. And she's exposed. Uh. Oh. Uh, I did. I would have liked to leave her there for the vantage point. But with the number of enemies out there, especially considering that there's a couple of Seekers out there now too. Uh, I think we're better off just getting her down to safety. <laughs> safety, I call it. Uh, more safety, where she might stay alive longer. I don't want to lose a sniper with that kind of aim. Uh, okay, he missed me, but he did like the vehicle on fire, which means I can't stay there. At least I think he did. 
a little bit of flaring fire down here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's on fire, but she she gave us the it's gonna blow uh, line, so I, I think it is actually on fire, even okay. though it doesn't really look like it. Only a 43% shot. Okay. What else do we have? Try to get this guy out of here. Ah, uh, not not ideal. Okay, can the sniper get a good shot? Let's see. Headshot, 51%. Not ideal. Can I get somebody close enough for a grenade? That's the next step. Let's try getting Sean Spencer here. Oh, can I even destroy the cover? Nope. Damn! It's, it's just not working out here. Even if he does run and gun, he can't really get to a good spot. Ah, oh, man. This is frustrating. All right, let's move him back up where that thin man can't see him, but where next turn he can come out and do something effective. And you know what? I think I'll suppress this guy to reduce the chance he's going to be able to hit somebody with his plasma gun. And then I'll move these other guys up a bit closer. Oh, what was that? Oh, did I... Oh, that was pretty boneheaded. Haha, <laughs> I clicked on the wrong space. And now he's totally exposed. Well, good luck there, rookie. And the sniper whipped. Well, hopefully that suppression will keep him from doing any damage. Okay, I'm glad I moved. That thing was on fire. That's about the worst way to lose a soldier to an exploding vehicle. Poison? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, he's gonna choke the rookie. Hey, of all the people he could choke, that's... That's not that bad for me. Oh, she's gonna panic. Damn it. Oh, he's gonna panic too. Come on. Come on. Guys. Oh no, the whole squad's gonna panic. You're shitting me. Do I have at least one? Alright, at least I got one soldier left in my command. Unbelievable, people. One guy get the rookie starts getting choked and everybody just gets all freaked out. Oh, she didn't even take him out. Well, okay, apparently he has to stop choking me when I shoot him. Now, can the rook... Oh, the rook can still... Ooh, he's still in the open. So the thin man might kill him, but let's get rid of this, uh... Let's get rid of the seeker before he suffers his horrible fate from that thin man over there. Blow this guy up. With any luck, he's too far away for the thin man to hit him. And my gosh, we'll come back from panicking, hopefully. Or maybe not. Oh, you panicked again. Jesus, what the hell's wrong with you, lady? Come on, rookie, you just killed a guy. What are you panicking for? Oh, he just ran next to the vehicle that's about to explode. Ugh. Or did it already explode? Well, maybe it already exploded, so maybe he won't die horribly. Man, I tell you, this is uh, this is why you guys are all on the B team here. You know, panicking at the freaking wasps buzzing around you for crying out loud. Let's see, he's got his running gun back. There's still a seeker out there. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's just get him into good cover. Oh. Damn it! Oh, damn it, he's totally flanked. Ooh, 
Ooh, hopefully these floaters will get in a, in a mind to do their jumping thing and... Ooh, there, okay, that guy jumped, so that means he won't be shooting at least. Come on, move again, move again. I don't want to get shot. Oh, quiet, Dr. Valen, I got bigger problems right now. Oh, for crying out loud, people, stop your fucking panicking, excuse me. But damn, this is annoying. This is why you guys are on the second team. And meanwhile, the rookie's down. Alright, I gotta get my guy unstrangled here. I only got... Oh, okay, she's back from panic at least. So that's something. And that melt canister's about to go. But I have to prioritize keeping my people alive. Over getting the melt. Okay, so let's blow this guy up and be done with him. With pleasure. And let's bring you over to here, Mr. Spencer. Where you can shoot this guy from point blank range. Come on, come on, give me a crit, take this guy out. Oh, he knocked him loose. That's not gonna get the job done. Oh, and she's got a major penalty, or he's got a major penalty to hit. So he's not gonna be able to shoot him. And I'm out of grenades, so I can't do the trick I did with the other guy. Okay, in case this guy tries to shoot us, let's just, well, I might smoke him though too. I don't really wanna do that. Okay, let's go like that and we'll get smoke on these three guys and hopefully give ourselves a chance to survive. The, the pot shot this guy's probably gonna take at us here. We're gonna lose that Mel, but hopefully we'll keep our troops somewhat intact. All right, I should be able to run and gun after him and, and take him out. Okay, he moved twice, so he's not shooting. Oh, that thin man's still out there. Oh, I forgot about him. Alright, let's, let's see what the sniper can do. She's got a nice... Oh, okay. Let's just take this flank shot. We'll do a headshot for a 55% chance to crit. Um, feeling pretty good about this one. Three didn't get him. Oh. That, that was most unfortunate. Okay. So we got... Still got that seeker to deal with. She's at least in cover from the Thin Man. She could suppress the Thin Man if need be. Alright, so I got two soldiers here. I want to take out the Floater and the Seeker. Just because they're really making life difficult for me by being behind me. So, I'm going to run and gun over to here. Get up nice and close to the Seeker. He counts as being in partial cover because he's flying. we still got about a two-thirds chance of taking him down and we got him okay and I want to get the support out here we're just gonna go for broke here 93% uh, we're gonna have to go for it okay good it's all right so we got the guys who were behind us now all we gotta worry about is this one thin man out in front of us it's only a 28% chance to hit, and I don't have enough ammo left to do a suppress. So, I think... I'll go over to this uh, collapsed meld canister and hunker down. This should be the last guy. Just try to survive to close with him. Come on, miss me! Oh, thank you. I, I needed a break. Ooh, ooh, and if I do this fast, I won't even lose the rookie. If I can win this on this turn, he may not even die. Well, let's go for this. Not a great odds, but I uh, might get lucky. Nope, no such luck. Does he still have a grenade? Oh, he does still have a grenade. So what I'll do is I'll just run him upstairs, throw a grenade at that guy. See if I can blow up the truck and take him out. 
in a single shot here. Come on, come on. Bink, bink, boom. Well, okay, he's not he's not dead yet. Uh, he's about to be, if I don't do anything. Might as well, ugh, 23%. Oh, what the hell. See, what do my hit chances look like of finishing this guy off? I know I'm right next to exploding truck, but I'm freeing this the last guy, 100%. Alright, we're going to go for it and just pray this is the last guy, because if it's not, she's going to explode. And she's poisoned again. Okay. Huh. Alright. That was ugly, but we didn't permanently lose any soldiers, and we only lost one of the meld canisters. Ooh, that was looking ugly again there. And I gotta get my, uh... My A-team soldiers back into the fight. These last two missions were in such close proximity that the, uh... Chronologically speaking, that I couldn't get those three soldiers back into the fight. And those were three of the five guys that are feel it as part of my primary team. Alright, I got another support. That's actually not bad. I think he might be slightly better than uh, my other support, Mr. Mazabuko. Oh, once again, piling him up in the infirmary. Well, hopefully that first batch that got sent in there will come back out. Hey, we got another Defender's Medal. Nothing else super exciting. Well, we can build a laboratory. Yeah, it's we hard to get excited about the laboratory. Alright, can I build... No, it's not going to let me build the uplink yet because I don't have the power I need. Okay, that's fine. That'll be done in a day or so here. Let's go to the barracks, sign our medal. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brad, for being aware of the casualties. Alright, so who needs more healing? I think I'll continue the pattern of assigning this to people who've just recently been seriously wounded. Yes, I don't know how you crawled out of bed to salute me. But okay, I admire your dedication. Alright, so you see now... Africa's getting some panic built up, but we've already got that continent bonus, so I'm not too upset about that. North America's still okay. Europe's... Uh, okay, not great. Asia's... Australia's a little bit in trouble, but other than that, it's not too bad. So we're we're holding our own, and that's that's about all I can say for this at the moment. All right, so let's get that power generator. Yes, very cool, generating power there. All right, back to build facilities, build the satellite uplink. That's right, that's right. All right, now can I throw the? Nope, but I don't have enough power for the containment unit. That's fine. I need that uplink more. I gotta start putting on more satellites to get more income, to control the panic levels, all that stuff. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can buy in terms of items for my soldiers? I can get some nanofiber vests, scopes. Eh, I actually might. Let me get at least one scope, because that's always a good item for the sniper, if nothing else. And uh, when that. Uplink is done. I'll be. I have one satellite in the bank, and I'll be able to launch two more at that point because I've got the adjacency bonus. So I'll go ahead and start two more satellites. And will they be ready by the end of the month? Yes, they will be. So that'll be nice. I'll be able to put up three satellites before the end of the month, and that'll uh, should help me get panic levels under control quite a bit. All right, so let's go scan for more activity and see what else we can get. Fortunately, now good. Now I'm starting to get soldiers back in. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. No, we got a council mission. Okay, these are sometimes bad, but often very interesting. So, council mission portent. The council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijack. Ah, so we got some human enemies. Perhaps the appearance of our exalt resistance group. Okay, so this will be our adventure for next time. Uh, we look forward we to get to dump some of these guys. We got Mac back. We got our primary assault back. Don't have our Mac back, it looks like. So that's that's a little bit unfortunate. 
But this will be our challenge for the next episode to make do with this squad. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Southern Wolverine signing off from XCOM Headquarters.